Hi, it's the Massage Goddess here with you today, and this is House Calls Part 2. So today we're going to discuss what to bring and how to set your fees. So setting your fees is really pretty simple. Most of us just double what we charge for an hour. That includes our approximate half hour time to get there and back. Now do consider that we have set up time and there may be other factors that are included that extend our time. However, we don't always charge for those. So hourly fee times two for your hour house call. And if you feel that the uh, person can afford to pay more and economic and the geographical situation accounts for that, then by all means adjust it accordingly. But that's typical. Now what do you bring? First of all, I suggest getting yourself a really good type of travel bag that can organize everything you need, from your lotions, your creams, and your oils, to your sheets and any other things and tools that you like to bring. Since you may or may not know your client, you want to always be prepared. So have scented and unscented products, creams, lotions, and oils, or if you've discussed with your client prior to going over there, it might be simpler, and then you know exactly what to bring. You may want to include some essential oils in your bag in case you decide to use something like eucalyptus or rosemary or lavender for relaxation or other types of muscle rubs that maybe uh, you hadn't anticipated at first because you thought it was going to be a relaxing massage, but then you find they've got some of that muscle tension going on there and you want some deep, nice penetrating oils. I would suggest bringing a light fleece blanket because sometimes clients may not want to use their nice comforters and things they have in their home for risk of getting oils on it. So have a little blanket or a little heating type pad if you like to bring those and maybe some bolsters or pillows in case you need to do propping. Also remember to include your nail file just in case you need to get those nails filed down a little bit and you forgot to do that on the way over or before your session. Any other things that you like to have in your practice, you want to just throw them in that bag and organize them well. Put things in Ziploc bags because you'll be surprised sometimes things do spill in transit and then it makes a mess of everything. As far as sheets, I used to always ask my clients if they would like to use their own sheets. That way they know that they're personal and that they've cleaned them the way they want to clean them with the soaps and detergents that they prefer. Most clients enjoyed doing that. I did always keep an extra set just in case for some reason, um, but suggest that. And then that way you don't have to do laundry when you get home. It just makes it simpler. So those are some of the few tips for today. If you have any questions, please remember you can always contact us and we'll get back to you with some answers and look forward to uh, some questions and providing whatever we can to guide you along your way for a successful career. So be safe, be thrifty, be smart, and be simple, and have a great time.